Hello, Joe. Hi, Alex. A bit like Jurassic Park. Careful. Oh, watch out. Build the most robust statue of the most delicate thing. Using the materials provided and place it on, oops, the Red Cross. <laughs> Your delicate thing must be recognisable on the Red Cross an hour after you finish. And should leave you feeling enormously proud of your creation. You have 15 minutes. Final line, please, Katie. Oh, your time starts now. <sighs> OK. Here we are again. The feelings are delicate, aren't they? The male ego. But how do I represent that in a robust statue? Hey, boxes. I'm just wondering whether I can convince him that I'm delicate. <laughs> Look, yes. it seems like uh, we should just get on with this, OK. Really. There's some delicate stuff for us to see. Delicate but robust. <laughs> Here we go. I was going to say my ego, except I have a very robust ego. Ah. What's a delicate thing? A leaf? This is pretty delicate. There have been times in my life when it's been delicate, my ego. Whoops. I was 15, I think, and it took me ages to ask Avril Cowan, who's a very beautiful Scottish young woman, and she said, I wish you hadn't asked me that. <laughs> Looking like a leaf? Does it look like... Oh, yeah. no, it's on the fucking thing! <laughs> no! I nailed it to the damn table! Oh, yeah. That's Avril. You said she was beautiful. <laughs> Are you nearly done? I think so. There you go. OK, thank you, David. Has it got to be there in an hour? Yes. Thanks, Joe. Thank you, Rose. <sighs> How do you feel about your creation? Yeah, it's OK. Oh, sorry. I'm feeling enormously proud of my creation. What did Avril Cowan mean by that? Well, uh, it was a, a, a youth camp, and for some reason, uh, if you wanted to get off with a girl, you had this slightly formal thing you had to do, which was to say to them, will you go with me? Would that. you go with me? Yeah, did that... you grow up in 1920s Chicago? <laughs> <laughs> Would you go with me? It's <laughs> <laughs> 15 year old David yeah. <laughs> Um <laughs> Is that a fair representation of you, Joe? Do you like poetry? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to uh, bang one out for us? <laughs> Do I want to bang out a poem for you? Yeah. But I'll have a go. Here we go. I'm going to miss out some of the words because I can't remember them. That's OK. <laughs> and that's all of them. <laughs> Rose, what the fuck was your thing? <laughs> I think the work speaks for itself. It's the least delicate thing of all time, but what was it supposed to be? The leaf. Oh, what a beautiful leaf. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to see how they looked after an hour? Yeah, and then I want to, you to go with me. <laughs> Hello, Joe. Hi, Alex. Can I have a seat? What on this thing? Oh, OK. Hello. Oh, hello, Rose. Oh. Have a seat. OK. Score a goal with this football. Your time starts when Alex blows his whistle. Do you understand the rules? Yeah, I've got to score a goal. And is there a goalie? Yeah, sort of goalie. I oh, know that's my... Oh, that's my statue. Oh, that's right in the way, yeah. Um, Good luck. Oh, well, I wish you hadn't done that. That's for me. Good luck, your time starts. Oh, my God. Oh. Where's the ball gone? Coming. Thank you. <laughs> ah! Ah! Yeah, Alex. Coming. Oh, you're close. Am I supposed to squash my thing? Oh. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. Come on, come on. Bye, Joe! Bye! 
That's the goal. <laughs> I'm sorry, Avril. You should have said yes. <laughs> now I've destroyed the statue I haven't even scored for the second time in 40 years. <laughs> Cut. Lovely. How's your uh, statue? Uh, quite a lot thinner, which is something for me to work towards. <laughs> I find it genuinely heartbreaking when uh, Mini Joe Brand got crushed. You're on your own there, I reckon. <laughs> you knew that was important to me psychologically, that statue. <laughs> <laughs> And maybe we've helped you both exercise a ghost in a way. Maybe you don't have to listen to rubbish old poetry anymore. And maybe you can let that woman go. That's how 1920s David Baddiel would have, like, dispatched of Avril as well. <laughs> but with he was like, if you don't go out with me, you're going to find yourself on the underside of a roller, baby. As <laughs> <laughs> well as a pancake, see? <laughs> well, Katie, I would argue that the roller has enhanced your delicate thing. I had a fucking horrible time on it. <laughs> Didn't even see the delicate thing, had no sense. I was just trying to survive. But it was a miraculous slice of the thing, and you were one of the quickest driving Amazing. the thing. Amazing, I didn't know how that happened. Bro, that leaf was enormous. And the <laughs> fact that you were the only one so far to totally miss it with a roller and scoring a goal. <laughs> <laughs> it's unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. It God intervened. David was the slowest. He took 15 minutes and 20 seconds. He was travelling at five miles per day. <laughs> Then Katie with 11, Joe with 8 minutes, Rose 4 minutes 45, just wow. straight down there. One more to see. Do you want to see why we've kept Ed till last? Oh, no. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> OK, here we go. I'm just going to have to do not a flower, Ed. Think of something better than that. A little baby. <laughs> hey! Ooh, sausage legs. This is just a general broadcast question. Is it weird if I do the baby's nipples? <laughs> Mighty Button. Oh. Have you finished, Ed? Oh, God, I think I have. Ed, please have a seat. Woohoo! Score a goal with this football. Thank you. Your time starts. There we go. <laughs> Here we go! The whole ball has to go across. What's it meant to be? Baby. <laughs> oh, sorry, there's some there as well. <laughs> I mean, if I'd known in advance, I, I wouldn't have made a baby. I don't know why it's made worse by the fact that the baby had nipples. <laughs> <laughs> And it was crucified. Yeah. Oh, I put it on the board for stability. You crucified it. And it was crucified. <laughs> yeah. It was clearly crucified. You, you, and then you, you mimed its crucifixion. Yeah. <laughs> so you thought it was the baby Jesus and that Jesus was crucified as a baby. Yeah, but... <laughs> you need well... to reread the book. <laughs> if I'm to take the word robust, literally, we have to look at David and Ed's and say, that's just a pile of mush. <laughs> I'm going to give them both two points. There was one strand of Joe's hair left. Yes, there was. And that uh, gets her an extra point. Three points. OK. Despite it being one of the worst things ever made on nine series of <laughs> yeah. this show, Rose's thing was robust and intact, so I'm going to give her four points. Fair enough. And clearly, Katie's beautiful cross-section mm. of a delicate leaf takes home the big five. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. Well, David... Uh, got a total of three, very low. Uh, Ed, yeah. five. Joe and Katie both got seven points. Rose got nine points wow. on that task, so well done. Rose Matafeo! <laughs> For more Taskmaster, subscribe now! <laughs> <laughs>